Omit the obstacles, mastering article omission in academic subjects. Hello, language learners. Today, we're diving deep into the world of academic subjects. Specifically, we'll be discussing the omission of articles. You might wonder why sometimes in English, we say, I love math, but not, I love the math. By the end of this video, you'll understand why, and you'll be a step closer to mastering English articles. Before we start, let's do a quick recap. Articles are the words, a, a, uh, and, the. They are used before nouns and help us understand if a noun is specific, the, or non-specific, a, or, n. But sometimes, in English, we omit or skip using them. Let's see how this works with academic subjects. Here's the key point. We typically do not use articles before academic subjects. For example, we say, I am studying history, not, I am studying the history. Why is this? Well, when we speak about academic subjects in general, we view them as abstract, non-countable entities. Therefore, we do not use an article. Let's look at more examples. I love biology. Physics is a challenging subject. She is doing her homework in mathematics. However, as with all rules, there are exceptions. If the subject becomes a specific subject or is modified in a certain way, we may need to use an article. For example, I love the history of ancient Greece. Here, we're not talking about history in general but a specific aspect of it. Another exception is when the name of the subject is also a regular noun. For example, I read the English paper today. In this case, English is not an academic subject but an adjective describing the paper. So we use the. The best way to get comfortable with this is to practice. So, next time when you're speaking or writing about your studies, pay attention to how you're using articles with academic subjects. Over time, omitting articles where necessary will become second nature. And there we have it. Remember, academic subjects generally do not take articles, but watch out for those exceptions. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this video clarified the usage of articles in academic subjects for you. Keep practicing, stay curious, and as always, happy learning.